What's up and welcome to a very special edition of Threadheads. All right, so a few months back we held a contest on YouTube where Threadbanger would come to your school and give a lesson in DIY fashion. After much debate, we have finally chosen a winner. The one, the only, Ryan Moore. Are your school's hallways dull and boring? Yeah! Does everyone walk around looking the same? Yeah! Well, we want to help you. <laughs> If you didn't know already, Ryan is one of our most active forum members and devoted DIYers here on Threadbanger. So we got the packing and headed on down to his school in Virginia to speak with his class about the DIY revolution. And as it turns out, Ryan was already spreading his DIY goodness as the school theater costume designer. My name is Ryan Moore and we're in the costume room of our theater. Um, the tech class, I have an A. I have an A in here. That's about it. Like, only A. Ryan is one of the coolest people ever, okay? He is the master of recycling things. I have grocery bag sandals, and they are the most comfortable things in the world. They're not anywhere near attractive, but they're so cool. Well, I'll show you around backstage and our set. That is our costume batten, which is lined with costumes. And this is our costume room um, where we store keep costumes for the show that we're working on. And we just finished a production of The Wizard of Oz, and I was costume head for that. In the future, <laughs> I would either like to work with costumes or clothes somewhere, or a combination of either one. Now that we're done here, we can go to my house and see what I really like. Well, now we're back in my house, and I'm gonna show you some cool stuff that I made, and where I hang out course. Where else? So I've been making stuff for about a year and the first episode that I saw was the bathing suit episode. That was one of the first things that I made. I think making your own clothes is important because there's both sides win. I mean you can have cool clothes and be different and then the planet doesn't die because that's important. Uh, my favorite thing to make would be hoodies because everybody loves them. So we have this one. This one's all fleece. This is the first place winner of Project Threadbanger, January 2008. This one, this was the first of the sheet hoodies. Pokemon, everybody loves Pokemon, right? So today I'm gonna show you how to make this awesome Ryan Moore original pant sweatshirt collar thing for all you male DIYer guys that have been complaining. Here you go, okay? When we return, Ryan's lesson. Stick around. Every day, your finger makes countless selfish clicks. How about a couple for your friends? Share Threadbanger. It's as easy as one, two, three. And then you can get back to whatever it was you were doing. First, you're gonna need to get your materials. We have the scraps from an pair of jeans, the top waistband part with the zipper, and we have a plain crew neck sweatshirt. So you're gonna get out your seam ripper and start ripping off the bottom part of the belt loops. So once you have your belt loops removed from the bottom, they should still be attached at the top. You're going to want to cut up around the waistband, down and around the zipper, making sure to leave enough room to sew, and then around the waistband. If your jeans have the logo tag thing on the back, that's gross because it's a logo. So we're going to rip it off. Once you've finished cutting around your waistband and zipper, move on to your sweatshirt and carefully cut around the seams on the collar. Now you're back in the 80s. So once you cut your collar off, pin the top part of the waistband to the collar of the sweatshirt. Make sure you line up the zipper in front of the tag so it's in the middle and centered on your sweatshirt. You're gonna pin all the way to the shoulders on both sides and then cut right next to the back belt loop. You're gonna wanna flip your shirt over, pin one of the pieces to the collar. You wanna take the other one and lay it on top, making sure you line it up and then pin it through all layers. Cut right here, next to your pin, and then you're gonna to wanna to cut the excess off of the bottom layer. Once everything's all pinned, sew a seam at the top of the waistband and the collar, 
going around your belt loops and at the button you're going to only sew to there on that layer and then down here and all the way around and then back up the top. After you've sewn the top part of the waistband, right here, you're going to want to sew the bottom. Now that your waistband is securely fastened to your sweatshirt, sew the bottom part of the belt loops. Now that you've sewn everything into place, you turn it inside out. So now that it's inside out, cut next to your seam. And it should look something kind of like that. And then you turn it back inside out. And now you're done. Ta -da. <laughs> Thanks, Toadheads, for coming by. See ya. Sweet. Well, that's it for this week. Remember, there's still a Janome sewing machine up for grabs, and you only have one more week to make us a video convincing us why you need a new machine. Got a comment or a suggestion for the show? Leave it below. See you guys next week. Rock beat scissor, right? <laughs>